Line was the first company in uh, 1985, I think it was, to introduce a, uh, a, a wine captain for wine storage. Yeah, my name is uh, Richard Sundin. I'm a uh, Northwest uh, representative for Uline Corporation, and we're here today at uh, Tri-State Distributors, who is uh, one of our three distributors in the Pacific Northwest. Tri-State has uh, sales responsibility for Washington, Alaska, and uh, the northern half of Idaho and the state of Montana. And uh, we're uh, going to look at a little bit of our wine storage here this morning. And uh, the, the models we have here on display uh, that we're showing here, this particular uh, uh, wine captain is our um, Origins model. And our Origin series has a white interior. One of the unique things about the U-Line uh, product is that we have three distinct temperature zones within one refrigerator, so to speak. And uh, the upper section stores red wines. The middle section will store uh, white wines and the lower section is for sparkling wines. And we accomplish that in a couple of different ways. Um, we have a, an evaporator plate on the back that where the gases flow through the uh, unit and we actually restrict the uh, flow of those uh, gases through the system which allows us to control the temperature to a certain degree uh, inside the unit. There's a certain amount of physics involved in it, and uh, meaning that uh, uh, cold air drops, uh, warm air rises, so that helps to uh, uh, bring the warmer temperatures up to the top of the unit. And uh, the other big thing that we do in here, we use uh, what uh, um, John Cowell, who is one of our distributor salespeople in Western Canada, kind of termed the uh, uh, phrase uh, still air technology. And what still air technology is, is that this is the U-Line is the only unit within the industry that does not have a fan within, the, uh, within our system. So without having a fan in there, we main, are able to maintain these temperature zones. So when we say that the upper section is 60, 55 or 60 degrees, we're not talking about the ambient temperature of the unit itself, but that's actually the serving temperature of the wine that's in the unit itself. And without having a fan inside, we're not moving air around. If you if you kind of picture that, and we put a fan in there, and you're trying to blow air around, um, it it kind of um, harms the uh, ability to control the temperature. We have a plus or minus one degree temperature variation between our our different zones within our unit itself. That's consistent with with our origins, which is our kind of our entry level price point with the Uline, and also with our Echelon, which is our uh, full featured uh, wine storage facilities. Uh, the uh, shelves are all um, on uh, roll-out shelves, so you have easy accessibility into the uh, bottles of wine. And uh, this particular unit, uh, most of them will hold anywhere between 43 and 48 bottles, depending on which particular model you, uh, you select. Um, these uh, models either come with a stainless steel front, if you want a stainless steel door on them. Uh, this particular one has a, in the origin system, has our, has our uh, kind of commercial look handle on here. And uh, you can uh, order these either with a, a, a left or right hand, depending on what swing you want. This is the integrated model with the uh, uh, panel on to match the cabinetry. And uh, this particular unit, uh, one of the things that they've done differently in here also, is they've had the uh, wood stained on the face to match the cabinetry, so it, it blends in very well. Um, when you open the doors in these, obviously uh, there, uh, the light comes on. There's a functional switch in here that you can turn the light on also, so if you have your uh, your over, have friends and guests over for dinner, you want to display your wines, uh, you can leave the light on uh, so you can visually see the wines uh, and through the glass door. Uh, the other part of, of these units also is there, a, there is a display down on the bottom section so you can put you know a, a, maybe a wine you want to feature down in the bottom section where the label is visible to you. Uh, this particular model is a basically what we say is um, uh, two refrigerators in one. And uh, what that means is basically we have uh, one compressor, we have two evaporator plates inside here, and uh, we have the ability to offer today's consumer the um, four different wine, uh, temperature zones within this unit. You can set the upper zone for red wines, the lower zone for, for red wines, or you can do whites on the bottom, reds on the top, reds on the bottom, whites on the top, however you want this particular unit to be, um, uh, to be set up. 
The other unique feature about this particular unit is there's a fourth setting in here. So you can do a red wine setting, you can do a white wine setting, you can do a sparkling wine setting, but you can also do a, a, a beverage zone setting. And what that beverage zone setting means is that you have the ability to set this particular unit either on the bottom or on the top to down to uh, 34 degrees. So if someone as an instance says, well, gee, I like to store a little beer in my uh, wine storage. I don't want all wine in here. Um, you can actually take this down to 34 degrees and you can set and you can store food in here or you actually can uh, store uh, a colder beverages, beer as, as an instance. So it, it gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility, a terrific amount of control uh, to the unit, holds about 43 bottles of wine. It's all touch control uh, technology, so uh, it's just a touch of a button to uh, set the temperature in the zones you want. And when you touch the uh, controls, it's going to come up and it's going to say RW for red wines, WW for white wines, uh, SP or SW for sparkling wines, and then it goes for a BEV center where it says BEV on there. So it gives you a, a terrific amount of uh, flexibility as far as, the, as far as the unit is concerned. The compressor itself is all on uh, rubber grommets. It's all mounted for anti-vibration, which is one of the four important parts of uh, wine storage. So uh, you don't get uh, vibration in the unit itself, and that helps to keep the noise level down when it comes on. The second big thing is we don't have a fan inside the unit, which uh, is, again, a contributing factor to noise inside a unit. So when you take the fan out, again, you're going to lower the, uh, the, uh, the decibel uh, levels of the unit itself. So those are, those are probably the, uh, the two critical things, uh, the amount of insulation, it's all a foamed in, in place case installation, insulation, so it's very well insulated and uh, those help to uh, keep the uh, decibel levels down in the unit, which is very important in a, if you happen to put one of these in, in a um, media room uh, uh, where you're watching movies. Uh, in a, uh, you know, we have people that put them into master suites uh, and you certainly don't want a noise level when you turn the lights off at night and, uh, you know, you're trying to go to sleep. So the other, the other thing that's consistent with this is that we have all of the glass is ultraviolet glass, so that helps to protect the, uh, the, uh, the wine and preserve the wine from uh, sunlight. And uh, the uh, other part of that that we, we also do is the um, uh, humidity control, the humidities at 50% 50, uh, 50 or a little higher than that. So uh, you don't have to worry ever within a U-line unit about the uh, cork shrinking uh, from uh, temperature, from the temperature rising or from lack of, uh, uh, lack of uh, moisture in there so the cork dries out. I would, personally, I would say for myself, anything's over $20 to me, it's kind of probably a premium wine. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you start looking at uh, putting 20 to $30 bottles of wine and you multiply that times uh, uh, 45 to 48 bottles of wine, you know, you all of a sudden you've got close to a couple of thousand dollars worth of wine you're storing inside your, uh, in, inside your wine uh, uh, captain. So I think you want to make sure that when you take that bottle of wine out and uh, you're going to serve it to your guests that it's at the proper temperature and uh, that it hasn't been harmed by, uh, by temperature control, uh, lack of temperature control inside the unit itself. So I think those are the, that, that's the important thing for someone that's buying premium wine uh, uh, that wants to store this on, on, a, on a short term or a longer term basis. Mm -hmm. uh, Uline is, is, was a family owned business, uh, been in business probably around 45 years. A uh, uh, Uline still runs the business today. And uh, Uline is a, 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 an American-made product. They're in, uh, located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and, and uh, we've been in the same location for as long as I can ever remember in uh, uh, the Milwaukee area. So it's still an American-made product and uh, made, uh, made, in, uh, made in Milwaukee. So, so it's a great location. It's a great company. And if so. you're in the Seattle area, you can uh, uh, buy them at the, uh, they're at uh, uh, Albert Lee, uh, Crossroads, uh, Arnold's, uh, Almvig's. Uh, our four major retailers in the Seattle area that, uh, that stock and sell the product and uh, Spokane, uh, Fred's in Spokane. Um, in, uh, yeah, so if you go to a major retailer, appliance retailer in, uh, in your local town, that's where you'll find uh, a U-line to, uh, to be sold.